This is Trump Tower in Midtown Manhattan right now. It is the crown jewel of Trump properties towering over Fifth Avenue. Trump saying he's, quote, married to it. And if Trump can't come up with that $464 million by Monday, he could lose it. If Trump's properties are seized, he would join an infamous club of high-profile figures who've had their estates publicly seized to pay off their debts. Tom Foreman takes a look out front. Money from his NFL days, his movies, his commercials, it was all in theory up for seizure after O.J. Simpson, found not guilty of murder in 1995, was held civilly liable nearly two years later for the deaths of his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. In short order, he owed the victims' families more than $30 million. Our family is grateful for a verdict of responsibility which is all we ever wanted. But although authorities raced to fulfill the judgment, even seizing and selling off O.J.'s Heisman Trophy, an attorney for Nicole's estate says O.J.'s wealth was locked up in untouchable pensions. His car was leased, his house heavily mortgaged. And what was left? Rugs, crystal, trophies, golf clubs, you know, expensive furniture, things like that. Those were the only things we could get. and. They were eventually auctioned off for about maybe a million and a half bucks. Seizing and selling assets in such cases can be complex and moves very slowly. Take the New York stock market scammer who saw authorities seize his bank accounts, his homes, his boats. It's been 15 years since Bernie Madoff's guilty plea, but investors only recently announced they've recovered just over 90% of what he stole from them, which many experts actually call a big success in this business. When someone has an enormous amount of wealth and a lot of assets and a lot of partners and it's super complicated, that makes it, you know, it drags it out. And it's unfortunate because you're right, then justice takes much longer and people have to wait. In Florida, a court just this year ordered the seizure of more than $63 million in assets from a Miami commissioner for engaging in improper political retaliation. But he's fighting to keep his house, which is slowing the process. Some cases go faster. In New York, scores of ice cream trucks were seized after the city said owners racked up millions in traffic tickets. And some cases don't seem difficult at all. A few years ago, a man was accused of looting and selling priceless Cambodian antiquities, but died before answering criminal charges. His family has returned more than 100 relics to Cambodia and in 2023 agreed to forfeit $12 million and a Vietnamese statue. But often the process of seizing property to satisfy a court ruling gets complicated and frankly a little weird. Years ago, O.J. wrote a very controversial book about how he would have committed the murders if he had done it. The rights to that were seized, and they're now considered basically worthless.